What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today, the video is going to be all about fall pants. I have stepped outside of my comfort zone, gotten a few cuts and colors that I wouldn't normally, and I'm really excited to talk all about the pants that I have accrued in preparation for fall. So let's go ahead and dive in. First off, I apologize if the sound is a little off in this room. There's a massive echo and my mic isn't always where it normally is, but I'll be honest, after trying on all these pants, I just didn't want to take all of this back upstairs where I normally film. So here we are, fingers crossed it's not too bad. And also if I'm like really shiny or just look a little, I'm testing the rare beauty, like a full face of rare beauty today. And I really like the way it looks in person, but it might be coming off a little shiny on camera. So just know I am aware, but I'm testing something new and you can expect a video on that sometime soon. Okay, now let's really get started. So the first pair of pants I wanna talk about, you might've actually already heard about if you watch my Trunk Club unboxing and try on, which I will link either click the eye or in the description box below if you didn't catch that and wanna see it. But these are worth mentioning again because I definitely think they're going to be a staple. They are black jeans from Topshop with a paper bag waist. They're cropped at the ankle, but they have this really interesting, they're high waist and they have a little notch taken out in uh, the front right around the belly button. And they even come with a denim belt to match. Of course, you. Can mix and match your own belt but i love how high up these come on the waist these are gap free in fact most of the jeans i'm going to talk about today are gap free i am anywhere between a size 12 to a 14 and i have this problem with jeans and i know a lot of you guys do too because you've let me know in previous fashion videos that if a pair of jeans fits my butt and thighs and hips odds are good it doesn't fit my waist it's too big for my waist and so almost all of these are gap proof. There is only one pair that you'll see. There is, it's a little bit bigger in the waist and because they're high cotton jeans, they don't have enough elastic to kind of cinch them in, but the rest of these are like, fit like a glove. They're amazing. So these are obviously one of those pairs. And because they're a dark, you know, grayish black wash, I think they're great for fall, but because they're cropped, that makes them a good transition pant. In fall, especially where I live in Texas, fall's kind of a fuzzy word. It means you're in the autumn, you know, mindset, but it could still be 80, 70 degrees out. There's really no need to wear closed toed shoes necessarily. And so these give you that fall feeling, but still allow you to you know, not be totally suffocated by what you're wearing. <laughs> that said, whenever winter comes along, you can just pair those with a high ankle booty instead. Now let's move into some distressed denim. So I talked about wanting a good pair of distressed jeans in that last trunk club try on video, and I didn't find any that worked for me, but now, I have two pairs. The first one is from Good American, which I'd had issues with in that previous video, but I have found a pair that is the Good American I know and love. And mine is a size 14 here. And these are a dark wash stretch denim. They are very high waisted, so there's, and they have elastic or they're stretchy, so they have no gap in the waist. But at the ankle, the only place where there is distressing on these is down at the ankle. And they are a cropped jean, so they fall relatively high on the leg. And then you get this really nice but still subtle distressing here on the end. In fact, I find the distressing is more noticeable when they're off my leg because once they're on my leg, they're kind of pulled so tight that you really can't even see the distressing once it's down there. But I'm sure it will get more distressed with more wear. But for the time being, um, it's, not, it's not an overwhelming amount of distress. It just adds a little bit of nice detail and these are so comfy. These are the kind of jeans where if you are working from home or you're like have one foot in the office, one foot still working from home and so you want to get dressed and feel like you're put together for the day but you still don't want to like wear anything more than PJs, these are amazing because I think they are thin enough and stretchy enough to where they, you know, you can sit, you can cross your legs on your couch if you like to work on your couch or wherever. They are that comfortable. Unlike the Topshop, which are comfortable, but they have a high cotton count, so they're not gonna stretch and give anywhere near like what these good American will. So really love these. Now getting even more distressed, I have a pair of light wash, 100% cotton jeans from Express. These are a size 14, and these of all the pairs that I have are the only pair that gives me a little bit of trouble in the waist area. It's one of those where I can't size down because then it would be too small in the butt and thigh area. But you can see when I pull them up to where the true waist is, and these are ultra high rise, they're supposed to be pretty high rise. There is a little bit of a gap there. So you'll see me style that with this with a belt, which I often do when I wear these, but 
I didn't want to return them because I love the style so much. So these are a straight leg crop jean, light wash, like I just mentioned, but they have this really fun, distressed look about them, little patches here, obviously in the knees. And something that I ran into with the pair that I returned to my trunk club was because they were a stretchy fabric when they went over, the distressing went over my knees, it just squished the skin on my knees and it made it look weird whether I was sitting, standing, no matter what. And so because these are straight leg, they give you so much more room in the knee area. When you're standing, it looks great, but even when you're sitting, like I can cross my legs in these, again, cross your legs on the couch or wherever, you're just being comfortable and you're not gonna have to worry about it ripping or being stressed or strained or making your leg look weird. So these are a really good pair of comfy, roomy, but still good fitting jeans. Now, last up for crops are technically the same pair. I just got them in two different colors and they are from Everlane. They are their straight leg cropped pant. I mean, they're, they're technically like a denim consistency, but they're obviously in these really fun, like olive green colors and rust colors. And in these, I am a size 12, but I can vary in Everlane as well, based on some of the jeans that I bought from them last year too. Anywho, these are a gorgeous pair of pants and they are super duper high-waisted. I really love how high up these come. They really cinch in at the waist and they give you these incredible roomy pockets, the most, the roomiest pockets of all the pants I'm about to talk about. So love that for these, about these, and I really love the colors. I think the rust is gonna give me, well, let's be honest, they both will. A good rust and a good olive green, like if those don't say fall to you, I don't know what does. And again, they're crops. You can wear them with an open-toed, you know, chunky sandal like I have, I think I styled them here, or you can transition them into more of a high ankled booty when the time comes and you need to bundle up more for winter. I am really pleased with these, especially because I find that I tend to shy away from more colorful pants, colorful denim, because it seems like a part, you know, adding color is going to draw attention to an area of my body that I tend to want to minimize or at least make appear proportionate to the rest of my body. And these, I think because of the way they are cut and proportioned, they are just so, so flattering, so beautiful. I love them. Ooh, okay, speaking of great proportions, I made my first purchase, well, purchases. I got two pairs of flare jeans, which I haven't done in ages. I got on a real skinny jean kick, and so all of these are kind of outside of my comfort zone, but I also went back to my beloved flare, which, again, I used to love because it balanced out, you know, my hips with down towards my ankles, and it just, ugh, love these. But the best thing about these is that they are ultra high-waisted. So the first pair I wanna talk about is once again from Express. I made a purchase from Express because uh, Miss Louie here on YouTube, I love her fashion videos, but she did, I think, a video with Express about romantic Parisian style. And in that video, she talked a lot about jeans. So I was on Express's website and they have some really great denim, but I was a little weary because I feel like I, they didn't used to fit my proportions in the past. So I entered with caution, but pleasantly surprised. And I already talked about the Distress pair of jeans first from Distress. So I love those. This next pair is the Flare Super High Rise, and this is in the size 12R. And this has, and I would recommend 12R because these are very stretchy. I think you want these pretty tight. They come up like the name suggests, ultra high, and the zipper is on the side to give you a nice clean front. And between that, just that really clean silhouette in the front and the ultra dark wash and just the clean lines all around, I think you could really dress these jeans up or dress them down, obviously, because they're jeans. It's the best part of them. The only downside with these is that they don't have pockets. If you're a pocket lover, these not only don't have pockets in the sides, but those lines you see in the butt are not pockets. They are fake. It's unfortunate, but it's true. However, in the name of a good silhouette, I will forego a pocket on one pair of jeans. Just one. Okay, last up, another set of high-rise jeans. These are really fun. They have a button fly instead of a zipper fly. And they say that these are boot cut high-rise, but honestly, I you tell me, I think these are more flared out than a boot cut. So be prepared if you pick these out, check these out, whatever. I think they have more of a flare on the leg, but I love them. I did get a size 14R in these, and I do think I could have sized down. I don't think a 14 is too big, but it could be verging on getting too big if over time the elasticity of these really stretches out. But for the time being, they fit really nicely. They hug my waist and everywhere else exactly like they should. And I really love the detail of the button fly. 
And just in general, when it comes to high-waisted pants, I'm so glad that the rise is getting even higher because I realized this is like the third year in a row that we're seeing cropped or at least high-low sweater silhouettes where you know, it goes kind of up high in the front and then dips low in the back, but there haven't been pants to meet that rise so that there isn't kind of a gap in your midriff, which is not a bad thing. I just don't want it necessarily every time I wear a cropped sweater or a high-low sweater and so finally, these jeans come up high enough to where there is no gap, there is no exposed skin. So if that's something you've struggled with, with the sweater styles that have been out and about for the past few years, these are high-waisted enough jeans to where they got you covered, literally. So those are all of my fall denim picks, but if you want to see a more comfy, cozy selection, I plan on talking about those in my long-promised Nordstrom anniversary sale haul video where I picked up a few of these items, but as well as some more comfy, cozy shirts, things like shirts and pants, obviously. Um, so if you want to see that, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.